Now, being one of the most popular sports in the world, basketball is truly a global sport. In the West Coast Conference, it is no secret that St. Mary's coach Randy Bennett has found much success in recruiting elite players from Australia. Here's a closer look at the Gales and their relationship with basketball down under. Walking around the St. Mary's campus, it's not unusual to hear an Australian accent. Aussie players have become such a staple in the Gales basketball program that it's hard to remember a time before that connection began. But in fact, it only goes back about 15 years. And it all came about as a matter of chance. We had a, a guy back in 2000 that was looking to come to, to college before. It really was a big deal for Australians to come to college, but he was very academically minded. And he was a point guard. And American schools only wanted big players, so we couldn't find him at school. That point guard was former Gale player and assistant Adam Caporn, and it was Coach Marty Clark who was helping him find a school from Australia. They ended up hearing about St. Mary's from a friend of a friend scenario. No one knew what St. Mary's was, where it was, never heard of the school and it was a chance for Adam to come over and play uh, at a school that had a good academic uh, reputation and really had no other options. The great experience Caporn had ended up leading him to convince his friend Daniel Kickert to come to St. Mary's too. And those two good experiences eventually led to a player named Patty Mills. And then kind of the floodgates opened and five, six guys came after that. But uh, there was certainly no plan to it and it was more the fact that this end had done a good job of accommodating Australians. People want to go somewhere where they know they're going to get a good experience and B, get looked after. With the success of so many Australian players like Mills and Matthew Delavadova in the St. Mary's basketball program came a kind of Gales mania in Australia. It's on TV a lot actually. I mean, sometimes it overshadows games that you think would be played over it, but uh, they love the Australians back home, so it's played all the time. And it's, it is a pretty well-known college. Like, of all the American colleges that people come to play basketball, it's the most recognized one, I think, back home. I think a couple of years ago, there was about 14 games shown down there, so. When we toured down there after that year, uh, everyone saw the shirts, oh yes, I know, I know who you are, I know what you're talking about. Whereas 10 years ago, no one would have known St. Mary's. For the younger generation of basketball players in Australia, the desire to come to St. Mary's no longer just comes from the opinions of friends who have played there, but from the national attention the school has gained. After I watched him, I, I just decided I, I wouldn't really want to play college basketball. So I, yeah, definitely from there, that point on was when I wanted to come to play for St. Mary's. As soon as they started talking to me, I really thought that's where I wanted to go and I didn't visit any other school, I didn't even visit here, I knew I wanted to go. There are currently three Australian players on the men's basketball team and while transitioning from one side of the world to another isn't easy, the strong community at St. Mary's has helped them feel more at ease. You sort of see a lot of familiar faces around all the time and that definitely really helped uh, with leaving my family and stuff, just having good friends here and uh, having other people around as well that going to do something similar. Everyone's really friendly over here. It's a really nice community. A lot of international kids, an international sort of program at first. We even took an American culture class. I just learned all sorts of things, like how to talk like an American, a bit of small talk like that. The students and the teachers here do, have done a great job of making them feel like not just a community, but they're important to the community. And you now they hang the flag and they sing the song and do all, the, all those sort of things. So uh, there is a, an Australian connection that everyone would feel whether they're Australian or not coming in. The St. Mary's Australian connection only continues to grow. Next season, three more Aussies will join the men's basketball team and call this campus their home. I've talked to a couple of the recruits just a little bit and uh, I'm pretty excited for them to come here, have six of us on the team. Kids that have come here have done well and the school has done well and the program has done well and the weather's great. So it ticks a lot of boxes and uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep going down there. I'll keep getting on a plane and going down and trying to recruit guys to come back. Obviously you can look at the success we've had. It's easy to come in, fit in, play a great style of basketball and great coaching staff, great players, like everyone is just really nice, really helpful. So. I mean, it's the ideal place you want to go. For the WCC This Week, I'm Amanda Blackwell.